What is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another Major Ben gaming video. We are going to be talking about the Sony State of Play that happened just yesterday evening, very late uh, in the UK. It's normally a little bit earlier than that, but it's okay. Uh, it was 11 o'clock and we had some pretty freaking awesome stuff, especially in my opinion, which we'll get to. But let's do a real run through of this uh, and talk about all the stuff that we saw yesterday. So if you guys haven't seen it, you can kind of just watch this and you can get an idea of what we saw and then you can go and watch it yourselves. But this is what we saw. But before we get into that, please do consider subscribing. Please like the video and uh, yeah, just stay tuned for all future content. There's a lot to look forward to on the Major Ben Gaming channel. So we started off with Resident Evil 4. So this is obviously a remake coming to PS5 and this will also have PSVR 2 content. This is a very PSVR 2 heavy uh, presentation, by the way. Um, but this is on one of the big... This is, well, this is one of the biggest classics in this horror series, and it's so exciting. It's actually going to get remade for current-gen platforms. So this is coming March 24th, 2023. So that's definitely something to be looking forward to and definitely something I'm going to pick up. We then had Resident Evil Village... Uh, VR 2. So again, Resident Evil Village is coming for VR for P uh, for PS5 and the VR 2 whenever that launches. So again, another Resident Evil game with some VR stuff, which is really, really strange. There's a lot of VR and we'll carry on with VR right now. So The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, Chapter 2, Retribution, a VR game, a VR 2 sometime in 2022, apparently. So we know that VR 2 is going to be launching very soon, judging by the amount of content at this presentation that was VR 2. This thing is coming soon. And there's still more to come. No Man's Sky coming to PlayStation VR 2. This looked very downgraded, I must admit. Some of the others looked pretty good. The Walking Dead game actually looked sick, in my opinion. At first, I thought, wait, Dying Light VR? That just looks insane. But it's very, very Dying Light kind of style and it's with vr uh, but no man's sky did look downgraded but still awesome vr2 a sci-fi game they're really filling out those games already uh then we had horizon call of the mountain for playstation vr2 this looked amazing like really really good so much better than the first trailer that i saw when they first kind of announced the uh the Call of the Mountain series. This looked, it just looked incredible. It looked really, really detailed for a VR game. Um, again, it's going to be a technical showpiece, this game for VR2. I imagine a launch title for VR2 as well. So that's exciting. Then we got some Horizon Forbidden West updates. We got additionally, um, New Game Plus will come as well. New Weapons Plus, trophies, and more, and stuff like that. So that was cool, I guess. I haven't even played that game yet. Uh, probably pick it up on PC when it comes out there, in my opinion. And speaking of PC, this is the biggest one, in my opinion, the most exciting thing. I did not expect this when I saw it. When they said, right, next game is a big popular title coming to PC. I thought, oh, it's going to be Returnal. Um, you know, Returnal is a game that we've had rumored come to PC. We've seen it on the video leaks. I'm very, very excited for that coming to PC. But even better, we, we are getting Marvel's Spider-Man, the original remaster Spider-Man on PC on the 12th of August. And I am so freaking hyped. Uh, it says, additionally, Spider-Man Miles Morales as well will also be coming to PC sometime in the fall. I am so excited for those two games. I love the Spider-Man franchise, and this is like the first time ever we're getting a proper so uh, like proper Spider-Man title on PC. Insomniac Games, it, this is just going to look incredible on PC, like native 4K with above 60 fps on a lg c1 or whatever oh man this game is just gonna look so good i can't wait for that on pc we then had the callisto protocol which is like a horror style game looked absolutely terrifying in my opinion uh it looked cool though uh this is a sci-fi adventure that's releasing on july 19 we then had a very long or a longer trailer for stray which is launching in july 19 uh this is one you can actually now pre-order on steam um pretty excited for this i think it's going to be a pretty detailed game looking at the cat at the end the animations look incredible so uh it's also free also to mention for any subscribers of PlayStation Extra and Premium um, PlayStation Plus tiers. So that's something worth mentioning. Um, we then had the uh, Roller Dome. Now, Roller Drome, I should say. This looked like, like it was a roller skating game when you're taking out opponents. It kind of reminded me of the Sifu kind of style, art style. Um, 
and also death loop a little bit in terms of the style but uh it seems like a much more indie kind of style game but it looked really really cool definitely check out the trailer for that uh, and that's august 16th so that's definitely one to look at, look forward to we had eternites which is like an upcoming action rpg with fighting elements like puzzle solving and stuff like that um it looked okay not my style of game but that's early 2023 street fighter 6 so we finally got to take a look at gameplay for the next street fighter in this series um, and we learned that Street Fighter 6 is actually slated to, uh, slated to come out sometime in 2023. But it looked cool. Like, I'm not really a fighting game kind of person. Looked very detailed. Uh, there's a very, very thick looking gal in this video. I do say so myself. But uh, check the trailer out. You'll see what I mean. It's actually got to the point where it's going very far with stuff like that. And is 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 just, just looks strange. But uh, Tunic, uh, which is a game that's already out, I believe, on xbox and already on pc i think i think it is don't hold me to that but this game apparently has got amazing reviews it's a, like a souls like game mixed with a zelda kind of um like game it just look, it, it looks incredible i've not played it it's on my pc uh wish list on steam um but this is coming to ps4 and ps5 september 27th season a letter to the future the art style in this looked phenomenal i love this kind of art style it looks like it should be on switch but still it's amazing art style looks cool not because it's bad by the way i love the switch but it looks like the art style would suit the nintendo switch very very well but this looks cool uh this is autumn 2022 we then finished it off with final fantasy 16 trader uh this this coming summer 2023 uh we had a look a closer look at the main character um and his name's Clive Rossfield. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's coming summer 2023. So that was it for the showcase. But yeah, I mean, I thought it was very interesting. First off, then the amount of VR stuff they were pushing, like they are obviously very close to launching this thing. They've got a lot of people working on games for it. It almost seems like th this is like their main focus right now there's their main push like there was more vr games i swear than actual normal games coming for playstation in the future and it just looked amazing and they did look good it's like it is a really huge future proof vr2 experience and with the power of ps5 i really do think it's going to push things further i question are these games going to come to something like pc because if you've got a full PC setup with what is it the the Valve's Oc or I don't know who it, who it is the best VR headset on PC I'm not a VR guy myself but I I may check these out especially if they come to PC and you get the full uh, you know an RTX 4090 by that time with some of these amazing headsets like damn this could be could be the new way of gaming but my most excited thing and my thing that I am a hundred percent most excited for is spider-man on ps4 uh, on, on pc sorry um this game i love this game it's one of my favorite games of all time um i'm watching the trailer as i'm speaking right now and just i'm desperate to dive back into this already it's been a while since i played this one obviously i played miles morales on the ps5 when that launched but it's been a while since i played this one i'm so excited to come back in um to this franchise again and play it at native 4k 60 or 120 fps depending what i can run it at hopefully it's a good pc port i really hope it's going to be a decent pc port um and obviously miles morales is coming in full i don't know we don't talk about when is full like I, we don't do fall in the uk it's like okay so perfect so it's like september through to december so it says it will also be coming sometime in the fall i would imagine towards christmas because it is a very christmasy themed game so um that's huge i i really loved playing like i've always talked about this when i talk about miles morales but i i really loved playing this game in christmas time because it kind of gave me a vibe like you know new york city christmas all the snow like I, I had amazing time playing that on ps5 when that launched and again i'm gonna do the same on pc and it's gonna look just absolutely insane i'm sure there were many people upset about this game coming to pc i'm sure it was uh was pretty tough for some sony fans out there i still don't get why um like whatever like i mean the, more people are gonna play this game at the end of the day the reason you're upset is because it's going to perform better on another bit of plastic. And at the end of the day, you still have the full option and choice to go out and buy a desktop PC. A lot of these guys are very big YouTubers. They get very upset about this stuff. You can definitely afford a PC. Like, you really can. And also, those games will be cheaper because you can go to places like CD Keys. I just picked up God of War on PC yesterday for £10, which is about $12 to $13 in the US. Like, you know, it's amazing. So come to the pc side man it's great better looking games 
Yeah, I know it's expensive start-out cost, but it's worth it. Trust me. I just, I hope we see, like, I really want to see Returnal. I really thought that was Returnal yesterday when they started talking about PC stuff first. I thought maybe we'd get more. I mean, we still haven't even got the Uncharted PC port that they talked about in the last state of play. And it's just like, oh, um, I'm re ready and waiting for that too. That must be coming very soon at this point. But I'm very excited. This is awesome news. All good stuff across the board. Uh, that's it. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please do consider leaving a like. Please do subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in future videos. Bye-bye for now.